Okay, on this problem, it says a rectangular swimming pool is 46 feet wide by 75 feet long. The table gives the depths D, X equals zero, from the shallow end to the diving end, and you're asked to use the trapezoid rule with N equals 15 to estimate the volume of the pool. So this is actually kind of a common thing that you would do if you move into a new home and you need to figure out how much chlorine to put in your pool, but you don't know how much volume your pool is because you didn't build the pool, um, then you can estimate it by going along the, you know, like the length of the pool and measuring the depth, and then you know the width of the pool, and so then you would just basically um, you can create a function that, or you have, you have a numeric, you have a, a table of values that represents your function for your depth. Um, and then you multiply by the length and then the DX of course would be the width. And so this, this integral then would be an approximation to the volume. So a couple of things in Excel here, if you, um, if you start putting in the X value, so like zero, five, 10, and then you go back and you get the, the white plus sign, and you click and hold that white plus sign down, that selects the values. And then if you come over to the, the corner and notice the plus sign changes to a small black and the, this, in the bottom right, do you see that little a green um, box? If you click and drag, it kind of knows, it sees the pattern and so it'll fill those in for you. So that's kind of a neat feature. And then you would want to go in here and carefully just put, plug in these depths and do double check that you have typed these in right because it'll mess it up obviously if you don't type them in right. Um, and 12.7, 12.4, 12.7, 12.4, and 12.7. Okay, so um, something that's kind of interesting, if you want in Excel, again, you can select these data values, then you can go to insert, and then you can choose a scatter plot, and it kind of gives you a visual of what's happening here. So this is a scatter plot of your, um, of what, of the function. We don't have an equation for the function. Like before, we would actually integrate the D of X function. We just have these approximations. But if we wanna know the area underneath here, we can easily see that we could pop in some, um, you know, we would have trapezoids, right? We could do a trapezoid here, and then we could do a trapezoid here, and we could do a trapezoid here, et cetera. And so we can, the trapezoid rule makes a whole lot of sense for us to use. So what does the trapezoid rule tell us to do? Well, it tells us to um, take delta X divided by two, so your delta X, remember, is your B minus A divided by N. And you can probably see that the delta X is five, but if you want, you can come in here. Um, your B is 75, your A is zero, your N, they tell you is 15. And then so your delta X would just be equal sign and then parenthesis, and then click on the B minus the A, close parenthesis, divide by, the N, so that's five. Um, and then it's delta X divided by two times the sum of these different Y values. So you have these depths are your Y values. So you use the first Y value only occurs once, but like you can see in these trapezoids, if you find the area of this trapezoid, the area of this trapezoid is also gonna use this line. So that's why that, that line occurs twice. And this next one's gonna occur twice, et cetera, all the way till the end, only this last one is gonna occur once. So um, kind of this is like the intermediate step um, for the trapezoid, it's kind of called trapezoid um, intermediate or something. You can see you would need equal sign just the first one. And then now you need to double all of them in between until the last one. So I would do equal sign two times the next one. And then you'll take that all the way down. So again, you will, if you grab the corner of this cell and then drag it down, it's gonna know to just automatically double. You can see up in the formula, it did two times um, T19 and then it'll be two times T20, et cetera. So it's just doubling all of the depths. And then finally, the last one, you just need it to occur once. So you just click on that. And then um, the, the trapezoid rule is equal sign. So it's delta X divided by two. So you can click on your delta X, divide by two, and then times, and you wanna add up that column. So you do the sum 
of, and then you would just select this column so that it would add those values for you. So this is kind of fun to use Excel. So then um, 731.25 is the, um, is what you get is your estimate for the trapezoid rule. But if you look in your interval, you do need to multiply that by the 46. So your volume, oops, your volume will be um, equal sign that trapezoid number times the 46. And then you have to raise it, round it to the nearest integer. So um, another thing in Excel, if you click on it and you go to the home, and then you can right here under number, you can minimize, uh, you can decrease the decimals and it'll round it to the right value for you. So that's kind of a fun problem, uh, kind of an interesting application of the trapezoid rule.